Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. We are so glad you've joined us. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me and then click the bell and select how often you would like to be notified of new videos on our channel. And please feel free to leave a comment. I read them all and I do my best to answer each one, especially if there is a question. Well, it's Friday. And according to the old rhyme and hmm, most people's routine, it's shopping day. I think traditionally um, Friday shopping day came about because Thursday was payday back in the old days when you were paid in cash in a little envelope with all the details written on the front. It's Friday shopping day. Or it could be Saturday, it could be Sunday, it could be any day. It doesn't really matter. What we're talking about covers all shopping days. So I'm wondering, are you finding it hard to stick to your grocery budget? You know, inflation's just over 6% at the moment, expected to go to over 7 almost 8% by the end of the year. Wages are stagnant. You, you will be forgiven if you say yes. You're finding it a challenge because you're not alone. But sticking to your grocery budget can still be done. If your pantry is fully stocked, it can be done easily because you are simply replacing what you use to rebuild your pantry. So if that pantry is not fully stocked, work hard at getting it fully stocked. And I've done lots of videos about this. As you use something, add it to your shopping list. Then add the weekly or however often you shop things, the milk, the butter, the eggs, the fruit and veg, the bread that you have to replace more often. And you should find that your shopping still comes in under or maybe just on budget if you're doing that. If it's not, take a look at your shopping list and then get creative and look for cheaper versions of the things that are on it. Now, I say this all the time because it's true. Don't be afraid to try a cheaper brand. It could save you 20 cents. It could save you a dollar. A saving is a saving. Buy it once. Try it. Give it a fair go. If you don't like it, you can go back to your regular brand. Just make sure that you only buy it when it's on sale. Now, for my family, groceries include things like, obviously, the food we eat, meat, poultry, whatever fruits and vegetables we don't grow or get from bartering with friends and neighbours. Cleaning products, although I don't buy cleaning products, I buy cleaning product ingredients. Basic toiletries and hygiene products because, again, pretty much soap is soap, shampoo is shampoo. I'm, you know, it's all detergent, guys. Now, I imagine most households, would be very similar with the addition of perhaps pet needs if you have them. So what I do, especially these days when it costs a little bit more to do the shopping, I write my meal plan, you've all seen my meal plan, then I do a shopping list and I stick to it. I'm not brand loyal. I never have been and I can't see that I ever will be. And that saves a lot of money over the course of a year. Being able to switch between brands for the things that aren't so important is a really good shopping habit to develop. Unlike looking for a cheaper brand, now if you find one you don't like, just skip it and move on to the next brand to try until you do find one. There is absolutely no point in spending your money on something you don't like, even if it is cheaper and it's going to save you 20 cents. Chances are you'll never use it and that is just money wasted and valuable pantry real estate taken up with something that's eventually going to be tossed. 
So if you don't like it, move on. Saving money, sticking to our budget is important. But we don't want to be miserable while we're doing it. We can find other ways to stretch that money. Another thing that will help you stay on grocery budget, especially at the moment, is to plan your shopping trips. Write your shopping list out and I write it, I like to write it out according to the store layout for each store that I have to go to. And then I list them in order of where they are on my shopping trip. So I try really hard to have them all in the one area so I'm not tempted by different shopping centres and walking through them and seeing all the different things, all the pretty things and all the big signs that catch your attention. It works. <laughs> and it means I can get in, get the shopping, get out in no time almost without going over budget. Best of all, you'll save time. If you do this, you'll save time and you will save fuel too. And anything you can do to save fuel at the moment is a really good thing for your fuel budget. Every household is different. Every person is different. Every family's needs and wants are different. And that's fine. Different is good. We don't all have to be the same. What works for me may not work for you and vice versa. As long as it doesn't cause you financial hardship, being different is perfectly okay. Now, you may live hours from supermarkets, and I know there are cheap skaters that do, or you may be catering to special dietary needs, and I know there are lots of cheap skaters that do. Your grocery budget doesn't have to be the same as anyone else's. Your grocery budget doesn't have to be the same as mine. It doesn't have to be the same as your best friends, your mothers, your sisters, your next door neighbours. When we talk about the $300 a month food challenge, that's an example, a starting point for your reduced spend grocery budget. Now, there are plenty of cheapskaters who are managing to stick to the $300 a month grocery budget. And there's a whole lot about that on our website. And I will be doing more on this in the next few weeks. But if you're struggling with cutting the cost of groceries while prices are going up and up, please even just implement just these few simple steps and see the change next time you shop. You will save money and, you know, if, if nothing else, you'll get your grocery budget under control. You'll control your grocery spending. It won't control you, irrespective of inflation. <laughs> and before I go, thank you so much for watching and subscribing. If you haven't, click that subscribe button. Please feel free to share this video or any others on our channel. It helps YouTube. It helps our channel grow and be recognised more easily. And that's really important because the easier it is to find us, the easier it is to spread the message that, you know, it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it is absolutely possible right now in our crazy, crazy world. The other thing sharing our video does is give hope to someone who might just be struggling and who knows, you click that share button, send them this link and it could be just what they need to know. They need to see it today to know that they're not alone, that there are other people out there who are struggling with their grocery budgets but who are succeeding and winning in the price wars. Happy cheap skating, everyone, and thanks for joining me.